for me personally, the biggest impact were the subs. Yeah. The sub, the, the, the was <laughs> the Doom 2 yeah. demo. Is when the sandworm yeah. came out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But, but like you said, it wasn't all about the bass. The Quiet Place demo that we saw. Yes. You know, the infamous one when she's Absolutely. down in the basement and the alien comes down. You could hear that the channel separation was perfect. Yeah. It was just a very immersive experience. It was yeah. awesome. So this has been a super cool opportunity for you. Oh, this you. is once in a lifetime yeah. for me. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not the target audience for this expo. I shouldn't yeah. be here, but yeah. I am, and yeah. I'm loving it. It's amazing. Hey, guys, we are here at Cedia 2024. We are after hours, so the place is completely shut down. But we're here thanks to Brett Bjorquist. Brett, I wanted to get you to come in real quick. Absolutely. Brett made this possible. I'm going to interview Michael because Michael is one of our subscribers from somebody's channel. Yep. And Brett had a basically a contest, mm -hmm. a giveaway, and he said, hey, I'm wanting to fly somebody out because Cedia is dealer integrators. So most people, just the average consumer, does not have access to come and check out all this cool gear. Brett said, I want to make that happen. And so he is the one responsible for Michael being here. But I want to interview him, get his thoughts on this incredible system. But Brett, tell us just a little bit about who you are, your channel, what we've got behind us. And then I'm going to check out and get Michael's impression of this awesome demo that we just got out of. No doubt. So, uh, so yeah. So, you know, I, I helped this group this year. I've been in the industry for 25 years, so I'm always helping various manufacturers. In this case, I decided to help six manufacturers yeah. uh, that were building Soundroom 4. We also had Soundroom 3 and Soundroom 7. So uh, a big selection of, uh, of theaters to go with this year. Uh, but this one was killer. So, yeah. you know, this setup in particular has a Seymour screen. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, it's one of the biggest, widest screens that you will actually see at Cedia. Yeah. Um, with four-way masking. So four-way masking, man, is awesome. Yeah. So and you're just watching it live, kind of going in and out is always so amazing with it. That's paired up with a Christie projector. Yep. Uh, so we've got a Christie Griffin projector that's rolling out 35,000 lumens. Same. So do not look into the lens. Um, but again, you can just see it, and we're at a point where we're able to get HDR content out of that, yeah. which is always a discussion for those of us on the theater side yeah. because it's so hard to get that sometimes out of out of a normal uh, you know projector. Yeah. Uh, that's also connected into a Lumigen, yep. which is providing the video processing for that, uh, and then also obviously connected into a Storm audio piece. Uh, and so this one is actually a, a Mark III, so they're top of the line piece in there, and that allows us to run uh, the Ascendo speakers. Yeah. And so what's really cool with this theater though, is that last year at CETA, we ran the first uh, digital, so Dante in this right. case, but you know, yep. AOIP theater ever done at CETA. Sure. And that was killer. But this year, what we ended up doing was taking it a step further because we made it hybrid. Yeah. So the idea is you might already have some amps that you know that you don't want to get rid of, sure. you know, but maybe you're adding Atmos or you're doing something else or maybe an amp goes bad. You can actually mix and match those systems and Dante will, it doesn't care what it is. So you can mix and match whatever speakers you want um, and whatever amplification you want. In this case, we've got Ascendo yeah. uh, who has a great selection in there. This is actually the first time I've ever been able to hear the Black Swans in a home theater. Album, yeah. Right. So we had, you know, recently at M-Wave, we, we had the two Black Swans yep. running in a stereo output. But here we actually have it as our front stage. So yeah. you're never going to get a better front stage than, than something like that. Um, and then all of their point source speakers running behind for all yeah. the surrounds and for the Atmos speakers. Uh, and then special for this year, just launched, and I think we just announced it basically at Cedia, um, Ascendo launched out their, the 28. Oh yeah. Right. So that's, that's their new square sub. Yeah. Um, and so again, takes a different shape to it. The idea is that it, it basically corresponds to a 32 inch. Yeah. So it saves a little bit of space in there. But what's amazing with that sub in particular is that it will dig all the way down from one hertz mm -hmm. and it's flat all the way up to 600 yeah, hertz. Really high. Yeah, yeah. Super high with it. Um, and so, you know, that just gives you the ability to get that kick drum. You're never in that phrase of, uh, you know, kind of moving from one for the main speaker sure. to the subwoofer. Yeah. You can basically go up a much higher than that. Yeah. So. And we have a few of those in there, right? Yeah. Yes, just a few. <laughs> there are actually six in the front yeah. and six in the back. It's amazing. They're three stacked high. They're like two, three hundred pounds each. These yeah. things are monsters, man. But we'll show you some B-roll here. These things are amazing. We had a chance to hear them. It's a phenomenal system. Yeah. And then sitting in the chairs, so Movia, this was their first Cedia. Yeah. Uh, so they're well known on the European side of things. Sure. But And again, we did, instead of doing individual seating, right. which is often a home theater kind of style. Sure. 
instead we actually went with couches. Yep. And so each one, what's nice with these couches though, is that typically when you see that three or four panel, the two ends go out, yep. but the middle one doesn't. Yep. So in this case, every seat, which is actually 29 inches, so it's extra wide in there, so nice and comfy, uh, as we had a lot of people in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we got that in there, great control, great seats in yeah. there, and so that just kind of rounds it out, because what good is a movie if you're not comfortable while you're watching it, right? Yeah. So Brett is hosting this party for us. We're having a good time. We got content creators here. We've got um, the brand representatives here talking about their products and sharing their heart and their passion. And Brett, I'm just a big fan, man. I love you. I love you, what you stand for, how you're building up the entire community. I love uh, Factnatic, so go subscribe to his channel. Yeah, please do. <laughs> but, it, but I just wanted to say thank you personally, let you introduce this. And then I want to turn it over to Michael. I want to get his thought oh. as a consumer on what we just experienced in this room. I mean, so that's what the party's all about. So, uh, you know, Michael, I want to hear it too. We're going to go out tomorrow as well. Cool. And we're going to go tour all the other demo rooms. So yeah. he's going to get the He gets the VIP he gets treat, the VIP experience out of it. So Brett's going to introduce him to some brand manufacturers, the guys that are the engineers, the owners, the CEOs of these companies. And so I'm excited for you, man. And so I want to hear your thoughts even on that whole and your experience today and yesterday. And so I'm super pumped. So absolutely cool, man. Brett, thanks so much. Great time, you guys. Yeah. So now before we hear from Michael, I want to share an exciting announcement from our channel sponsor, Arendal Sound. Arendal Sound is up to something big, like really big. The new 1528 Tower Eights are massive. They measure 11.4 inches wide by 21.6 inches deep and a whopping 53.1 inches tall. And that doesn't even include the feet. And did I mention the weight? How about 174 pounds for each speaker? I can't wait to experience the new 1528 series here on the Youthman channel. So Michael, where are you from? I'm from Chicagoland area, nice. Anoka, Illinois. Nice. So. Consumer, do you have a home theater? I have a home theater. Yeah, it's it's nothing <laughs> at like this level, but Mine yes. Mine either, brother. So <laughs> yeah. what do you run at home? I have a 77-inch OLED, okay. Sony OLED for this for the display. Nice. I have an Ankyo receiver. Yeah. I have SVS Ultra Front Stage, uh, left, center, and right. And then I have SVS Prime Satellites for my four, well, two side surrounds, two rear surrounds, and I also have four Prime Satellites up in my ceiling. For my atmos speakers. Cool. So how did you hear about Brett's giveaway? Well, I originally first heard it on Todd Anderson's uh, AV Nirvana. AV Nirvana, yep. the, the news podcast that awesome. he does. So once I heard about it there, I you know immediately jumped on and started getting my entries in. And then you know DJ Briggs talked about it from Brightside Home Theater. Yeah. Um, and I, you've mentioned it. I heard it on Giles. Yeah. It, all of the all of the channels yeah, we're talking absolutely. about. Absolutely. Well, we wanted to get people excited about it. You've got a cool opportunity. And so Brett said, hey, look, I'll fly you out. I'll put you up in a hotel, and I'm going to hook you up. Yeah. You're going to come to this VIP event. You're going to hang out with the guys that you want. Not that we're anything special. We but have normal home theaters, too. We're just passionate about this. Like just like you individuals. Are. Yeah. Right. So what's your experience been like at Cedia as a consumer? Well, I got here about 1.30 this afternoon. Okay. So I got to take in a few of the sites. I saw the JBL booth. I saw the Sony booth. I saw the guys over at SVS. Yeah. It's an awesome experience to get to see all this stuff and getting to meet people. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, that. That's wild, right? That's where it's at. That's okay. incredible. So Matthew Trinkline, he's with Storm Audio. So Matthew and Chris Seymour are running the demos. Matt's doing more of the music side right now. Chris Seymour was running the script from Kaleidoscape. And we went through bunch of different tracks. We went through some music. We went through some home theater stuff. We went through some dialogue. You know, not everything has to be uh, balls to the walls, right. stuff blowing up right. kind of thing. Um, so tell me about that experience. What what were some things that stood out to you? You said this is kind of a, a surreal experience. You never experienced something of that level. Right, right. Um, for me personally, the biggest impact were the subs. Yeah. The sub, the, the, the was... <laughs> The Doom 2 yeah. demo, when the sandworm yeah. came out, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. But but like you said, it wasn't all about the bass. The Correct. Quiet Place demo that we saw, yes. you know, the infamous one when she's Absolutely. down in the basement and the alien comes out, you could hear that the channel separation was perfect. Yeah. It was just a very immersive experience. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And the video, oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I can't recall the name of the 
So it's a Christy Griffin. They were doing some sand art. Okay, definitely. Well, Chris, he's off to court. What was the, the content on that? It was called Samsara. Samsara. It wasn't even HDR. Yeah. And it was gorgeous. Yeah. It was beautiful. So it was the screen, the projector, all of it. It's It just blew me away. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's more than I've ever experienced before. So we went through a bunch of different content. You saw different, you know, we... When we watch a movie, it's always in a different aspect ratio. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's 16 by 9, sometimes 235, 240. You've got the 4 by 3, which I don't know why anybody would watch that. <laughs> but anyway, some of you guys like that. Um, but watching that, had you ever experienced masking? I, uh, especially mm-hmm. electronic masking? Live masking where it's just because they set up, they have their Cedia playlist. Yeah. And, you know, they go from all these different scenes. And one of the scenes was the Snyder Cut. Yeah. And so, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was going up and down uh, on the fly. And then all of a sudden, it, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was so cool. I've never experienced something like that before. Sure. That was really cool. One of the things that, that Chris taught us, we had um, an event that I used to run. And one day we were watching a video and he put masking, like he had just manual masking. Mm-hmm. And we had two projectors. One was kind of a lesser projector. One was a higher end projector. And everybody's looking at it going, okay, this higher end projector looks better than the lower yeah. end. And he went and put the masking on and you heard the whole crowd. We we're like, whoa, like what just happened? And so it's more than just hiding the gray bars. It literally mm-hmm. gives you a visual perception of perceived contrast, like a boost. Right. And so you're looking at this going, something just changed and nothing changed. Yeah. But because you were able to hide the black bars or gray bars and make them black, now you've got massive contrast difference and your eyes just visually gravitate and everything just kind of pops. And yeah. so what's cool is with Kaleidoscape, it does that automatically. It's built into the metadata. Okay. So when they pull up, so Chris isn't back there going, okay, oh, he switched to that. Let me hit this button. Takes all the guesswork out of it. Okay. Kaleidoscape says, okay, this movie's in 4.3. And that ties in with Chris's system and it's like, zoop, locks in. And it's right exactly yeah. where it's supposed to be. Two, three, five, okay, let's go out, let's go here, boom. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It's awesome. So have you ever heard of Ascendo? I have heard of Ascendo. I've never heard Ascendo yeah. until tonight, but I have heard of Ascendo. Right. So what was that experience like? We listened to music, we listened to movies. It was super clean, super detailed. Um, they didn't sound, there was no harshness, that they weren't straining. It was just perfect. I mean, honestly, it yeah. was great. So I am at, I don't know the exact setup, but typically when they do an acoustically transparent screen, we use three identical speakers. Have you ever Correct. heard that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you've had some friends or something you've oh, yeah. to? Yeah. So that was, that was you know, having the speakers right yeah. behind the screen, having the sound come right from, that's awesome. And yeah. they're all identical. So all timbre matched. It all flowed wonderfully. It was awesome. Yeah. So this has been a super cool opportunity for you. Oh, this you. is once in a lifetime yeah. for me. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not the target audience for this expo. Yeah. I shouldn't yeah. be here, but yeah. I am, and yeah. I'm loving it. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, this Cedia is for dealers, mm-hmm. for integrators, mm-hmm. is for people that install these and build these awesome home theaters. Right. It's not for consumers like you and me. Right. I get in because I'm press, and I can make content like this and help bring up the industry and tell you guys about cool products that are coming out, like this Sendo. Yeah. That thing's bad to the ball, oh, man. It's gosh. like, it's crazy. Yeah. But, uh. But any thoughts on on either your experience through this process? What do you hope to get out of tomorrow? I just want to take in as much as I can take in. Mm-hmm. No, knowing that I probably won't ever be back, I just want to experience everything I can experience. I, I like seeing the, the high-end stuff because at this point in my life with yeah. my kids and everything, yeah, it's just... No. It's just not in the cards for nope. me at this point. No. So if I can experience it however I can, 100%. I want to experience it. So I always share with my audience, like, I don't get mad that such and such speaker brand or processor is absorbent amount of money. Mm-hmm. I've never owned a Ferrari. I'd love to own a Ferrari. Right. Ferrari, if you're watching, hey, <laughs> sponsorship, baby. But I would love to own a Ferrari. I'd love to own a Porsche, but I'm not there. Right. But I guarantee if somebody gave me an opportunity to go sit in one or take a test, uh, like even be a passenger in one, which is what we're here, or let me drive it, Mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'll be sad when I return it, but I can still appreciate it. I I can still um, be grateful that I had that experience, and I love that about you. And it's the whole aspiration thing. I've got goals. Yeah. 
care if they're lofty yeah. goals. I want to have lofty goals. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's, it's the journey. It's the process. Yeah. All of it. It's all fun. So, Dude. It's well, I'm so excited, to, number one, to meet met you personally. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm excited for your journey, not yeah. only your own home theater journey, but just here at CD. Take oh, it all in. Yep. Get to know these brands. These are great people. I've known Chris for many, many years. I've known Brett for many years. I've known Matthew Trinkline for many years. Yeah. These brands are awesome. They love what they do. They're passionate about the products that they make, and they're just trying to do the very best they can to raise the bar and just make some cool stuff so you and me yeah. can enjoy yeah, that's as home theater. Uh, just passionate people about home theater and obsessed home theater. Yeah, absolutely. Well, cool deal, guys. Well, I hope you all have an incredible week. We've got lots of content from CD 2024. Hope you guys continue to watch. Appreciate you, man. It's been a pleasure it's meeting you. It's been a you. pleasure. Thank you. Hope you guys have an incredible week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.